On today's video, we're going to be machining a blow-off valve flange adapter that accepts an HKS super sequential blow-off valve, and this will be bolting up to a 10th gen Honda Civic. What's up guys? My name is Brad. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to this channel, we talk about welding and fabrication, CNC machining, some Fusion 360 stuff, and we're going to jump into some really cool projects, so if that sounds fun, hit that subscribe button. I'll walk you all through my setup, design and cam, and if everything goes well, we'll have a really cool part at the end of this video. We'll bolt it up, we'll see how it works. Let's jump into it. All right, let's start this video off right. Let's get this machine all cleaned out, make sure these vices are nice and cleaned out, wash all of this material down. We're gonna be emptying out about 200 gallons of aluminum chips out of this machine this morning. Wash this whole thing down, make sure we get all these chips out of these vices. We're gonna be cutting some three and a half by four by one and a half inch 6061 T6 aluminum stock for this part today. Go ahead and drop that in the vise. Tighten and torque this vise down. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this tool scares me a little bit. Touch this stuff off, review some cam, make sure we're good to go. Put the hymer in, awesome tool, super quick to touch off your XYZ Zero. Throw this USB stick in and you are now entering the matrix. Man, that's satisfying. This is a prototype being machined in-house for 3P Performance at 3P Performance. Check them out on Instagram. So the goal here is basically to make this fit a 10th gen Honda Civic and allow it to accept an HKS super sequential blow off valve on the other side. So here's op one, this is our setup. We have our stock, we have our origin point, we have our part placed in the center here. Now this stock is oversized, it's just what I had on hand to make this prototype. I will be ordering the correct size stock for a production run of these if everything goes well. This stock is three and a half inches in the X, four inches in the Y, and one and a half inches in the Z. Our point of origin here is in the top left corner. First off, we're gonna start off with a three inch face mill facing off the top of this part, and then we'll jump straight into a 2D adaptive clearing tool path. Contour everything after we get done removing all the material on the radial faces, clean all of those up, and then jump into a pocket op to clean up the floor on this outside of the part. Use a quarter inch tool to clean up the floor here in the center. And then we'll go ahead and use a 3 16 tool to put in a O-ring groove for this blow off valve to rest on. This blow off valve mounts with a snap ring so we'll go ahead and use the slotting tool to put that feature in so we can secure the blow off valve to this adapter. We'll go ahead and drill these three holes on the outside for mounting purposes, chamfer the outside of the part, and then we'll use a slightly smaller chamfer on all of the internal features. Blow off valve fits in there really nice, snap ring secures it well, there will be no leaking under boost. So here are the soft jaws, these are actually going to help hold the part as we flip it over to remove the material off the back side. So when I'm making my soft jaws in CAD and CAM, I'll just project the profile of my part directly onto the surface of the jaws and kind of figure out how deep things need to be to get the part to fit right. So as soon as we're done with op one on the part, basically we make these soft jaws. This is gonna act as a work holding solution to hold the part as it's flipped over into these jaws. We'll be able to do all the work on the opposite side now. Now the profile of the part is actually cut into the jaws at the exact dimension as the part itself. Now depending on the tolerance of your machine, you might wanna hold that back a few tenths just to make sure that there is no clearance issues. First up, we're gonna face the top off. We have a little extra material to remove. Do a finishing pass, taking five thou off the top for a decent surface finish. We'll jump into a quarter inch tool to put this pocket in there. And then we'll go ahead and 2D contour to clean up the walls of that pocket. We'll stay off the floor about a thou. We're gonna machine this pocket out for a dash 140 O-ring. And we'll machine this pocket out for a dash 120 O-ring that has about 103 thou diameter. We'll chamfer the outside of this part as well as the holes and then we'll jump into the center here to chamfer all of these small slots. Just a super quick simulation here. Face the top off, put the slot in, put the O-ring grooves in, chamfer the top of the part, Here's the final part. Not bad for a quick prototype. 
Here's the HKS blow-off valve installed onto the flange. It took a minute to figure out the order of operations on the install, but after we got that covered, it went pretty smooth. Only lost one piece of hardware, but Tommy found it. And this is Edge Auto Sports 10th Gen Civic that we are installing this part on. Well, that about sums up this video. I really appreciate all your support. We'll see you next time.